Hey, what's up, Street Gods? It's Eric Kim for the Eric Kim Street Photography Blogs. So, I want to give you guys a quick overview of Adobe Lightroom CC, the new desktop version, the cloud based photo service versus Adobe Lightroom Classic CC, which is the former version we all know and love. So, the first question is why use Adobe Lightroom CC versus Classic CC? So, I found in my personal experience, I prefer Lightroom CC in the sense that it's a lot faster. And also it can sync with uh, iPad, which is very useful. And Lightroom Classic CC, obviously it's it's more robust, there's more functions and features. And I just, I don't know, I also really kind of like the presets of Lightroom Classic, uh, or the, the new presets that's built into Lightroom CC. So I'll just show you how to use it. So first and foremost, you can either open it up in here, or just open up Lightroom CC. And... What you have to know about Lightroom CC is that a lot of people consider it quote quote dumbed down, but I actually consider it a little bit more simplified. And I actually quite do like how it is more simple because it helps streamline the process of importing, lagging pictures and exporting. So the first thing you do is you open it, top left corner, click add photos, click the images you want to import. And so, you know, I got a bunch of pictures here and you just kind of let it Think and it'll automatically you know, choose the photos that you haven't imported yet. And what you want to do is, yeah, there's a lot of pictures I haven't uploaded. Oh shit, 2,000 pictures. All right, so you can either add it to a new album. You could title this, I don't know, NYC plus OC. You click create, and then you just click add pictures. And essentially what you just want to do is you essentially just wait for the photos to import. And this is actually a new thing that I've been doing with my photography is I've only been shooting JPEG on the Ricoh GR2. And the benefit of just only shooting JPEG is I've been able to just shoot way more. And I found that actually when I'm shooting with the Ricoh GR2 in the positive film, color preset, high contrast, the photos, most of them look pretty good out of camera. And... I'm starting to realize that photography for me, it's less about creating the absolute single picture perfect image. And ever since I uninstalled my Instagram and deleted it, I'm more interested in kind of telling some sort of having photography be like some sort of photo diary or some sort of photography story where it's not about the sin single individual image, but it's rather about all the images as a collection. And so once again, I would recommend if you find yourself overwhelmed with worrying about shooting a raw and processing your pictures, then try to just shoot JPEG only for a month and just kind of see how you like it and how to experiment with it. So you could see Lightroom is importing all of the different pictures. And actually this is one thing that I unexpectedly like in Adobe Lightroom CC, the new version, is that it imports the photos. The photos on top are the most recent photos, and the photos, when you scroll on bottom, are older photos. And if, you, if you're the type of person that you spend a lot of time looking at your photos and you're not sure which ones are the best, I've actually found this another pro tip. Look at your photos from your most recent photos to your older photos. So... Uh, reverse chronological order. So let's just let's just get started. So you can either just double click the image here to enlarge it or you press G to go back to the gallery or grid view. So these are the functions we already know. Or you can just press E to enlarge. And here on the right side you can see if you want to edit the images you just click this right here. And you could adjust all these functions here. Or what I like to just generally do is just click presets. And I'm actually a huge fan. You can just use high contrast looks good. Punchy detail looks good. Vivid one often looks good too. Matte. All these presets for color look really good. And generally what I'd recommend is just kind of see which one ever you like. I've personally found this punchy detail one the best in terms of just bringing out detail. So if you just wanted to click punchy detail, and if you want to crop, you can see you can just highlight E is for edit, which makes a lot of sense. Uh, crop, the hotkey is C. 
you know, you get the healing brush. I think you gotta pay for that brush, linear gradient, radial gradient, and all this other stuff here. And this is the thing that's a little bit different with this new version is the pick and reject buttons are different. The hotkeys are different. So to pick a photo is Z because on your keyboard, that's actually next to the X button. And it actually kind of makes more sense. Whereas in the classic version of Lightroom, P is pick and X is reject. But now it's Z and X. It still takes a little bit getting used to, but what I generally do is I'll look down here and I'll just kind of reference this because once again, the Z button is right next to the X button. And then I'll just use the arrow keys to kind of scroll through the pictures. Had some good barbecue with the family. All these things look really good. Actually, no, they look they look quite disgusting, but they're really good. Playing with my niece, Amelia. <laughs> doing some downward dog dogs. This is actually kind of fun. So I'll press Z. And the nice thing I like about scrolling through, <laughs> this is actually kind of cute. Amelia looking at me and Cindy doing some yogas. And the nice thing I like about Adobe Lightroom CC, once again, over the, the older version, it's just a lot faster. So I, I could just kind of quickly scroll around my images a lot faster. And I kind of like this one. <laughs> Amelia holding me, me holding Cindy. And you could just, once again, just kind of scroll through the images. Oh yeah, eating Korean barbecue. This is so good. And you can see, once again, you can just kind of scroll through all the pictures that I shot. And I think that I kind of like this, this, the hand here, it's a little creepy face here. So I'll just press Z whenever I find a picture that I like. Once again, anything that allows us to quickly scroll through pictures. <laughs> Annette, Amelia and the dog is kind of funny, the little triangle there. So anything that allows you to speed up your workflow or look through your pictures quicker, I think it's, it's better. And let's say you look through a bunch of pictures it's still importing, so what you want to do to just filter the images is on top here, just click this little filter button, and then you only show the flagged photos. Okay, so now you can see all these pictures that I've already flagged show up in this module here. So. Barbecue, me doing yoga, me doing yoga with Cindy, Korean barbecue, and these pictures. Let's say I like these. And press G to go back to gallery view. And if I just want to export these, I just press Command A in the top right corner where there's this little share button. Save to. And then I could choose the folder. So let's say I want to save this in Dropbox 2018. And this is OC version one. Cause I'm stopping by here in Orange County real quick. Click create, click choose. And you could either do full size or a custom size and you can just change the long side. And file size, this JPEG. And you can see it's like it's super simple, but I kinda like it is that there's less crap to click around with so anything that's simpler i think it's generally better and then you just start and then you just click save which i i just like how the the words are reset it just kind of makes more sense and then you just kind of have to wait for it to to do the exporting and then you can see it's starting to export the photos so obviously the downside is it doesn't really allow you to rename your photos when you're exporting and it's a little bit quote quote dumbed down, but actually I wouldn't call it dumbed down. I would just call it simplified. And you can see once again, the new version of Lightroom CC, it's trying to make, it's trying to simplify photographer, uh, photography on the desktop and also sync it with your iPhone or your iPad. And I think what Adobe, Adobe is doing is super smart. I'm actually a huge fan of the new Adobe Lightroom CC, especially since it's rebuilt from the bottom up. And this is coming from somebody who's been using Lightroom for a very long time since Lightroom 2, since I was in college. 
and it's cool to see the product evolve and change I mean there, I'm sure there's gonna be tons of new functions and features and you could just kind of poke around you could in the, top right, in the bottom right corner you could adjust the size of the thumbnails you could change how the images are viewed what kind of grid format you could change the order of the images and you could just kind of poke around with that I mean there's really not that many icons to click around so it kind of once allow once again allows you to just kind of do some exploration you can see the albums that you've imported here but I would just recommend just if you have a, a desktop or a laptop just give the new Adobe Lightroom CC a go see if you like it but once again I found the benefits that it's a lot faster it's more streamlined it's more simplified and it allows you to do what's important which is spend less time flagging and exporting your photos and more time for you to go out and shoot which is what I think brings you the most joy in photography. Alright, thanks a lot for watching guys. Peace out.